Well, John Reed, uh, you've come in to help us get a book watch program centered around your new book, Barbecue, mm -hmm. which supplements the uh, release, upcoming release of uh, Holy Smoke, the really big North Carolina barbecue book. And so, um, as as we're holiday seasons approach, um, is, is can you think of anything you do barbecue wise for <laughs> yeah, for the ho yeah. for our holidays? Yeah, people ask, is barbecue holiday food? And you just asked me that. <laughs> so, uh, you were true. supposed to say not many people ask that question, <laughs> no, but since no, you did, no, of course it's holiday food. You know, and, and, and it's a it's something you can you can celebrate with anything uh, that's good and and it's fun to prepare, and. Uh, uh, we, I do have a recipe in the book for barbecuing turkey, and, and many people smoke turkeys and, uh, for their use at Christmas and Thanksgiving. Um, but other people eat pork barbecue on those holidays. Uh, you often go out and buy it from local place, of which there are fewer all the time. But uh, it's another thing to do. You sit out in the yard in the cold weather and sit around this cooker and uh, watch the barbecue cook. Uh, you know, there are, there are meats that are appropriate for different holidays. I have a recipe in there for barbecued lamb. Um, I made one Easter. And uh -huh, uh -huh. Lamb, along with ham, they're an Easter food. And that, incidentally, was absolutely amazing. It's the best lamb I've ever had. I don't say that just because I cooked it. Well, now, what about the barbecued turkey? You mentioned smoked turkey, and then we think of uh, fried turkey now, and as yeah. well as the regular sort of baked turkey. Right. And is, is the barbecued turkey superior in any respect to that? I, I like smoked turkey because I, I like smoke. We smoke smoked turkey or barbecue well, turkey? Well, I mean, you barbecue it, and it infuses it with smoke, if, if, unless you're doing it with gas, which, in which case it's not barbecue, if you ask me. <laughs> But, uh, you know, I think the fires of hell are stoked with gas, but that's another story. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, um, the barbecued turkey, it's hard to cook because uh, it's too easy to underdo the legs or over overdo the breast, you know. So Is there, can you do something to well, uh, tackle that? I talk about that in the book. The, the cheating way to do it, it's not cheating way, is to inject the breast with, uh, with melted butter or something like that. I, I'm an old-fashioned guy you know, tend to think hypodermics are for baseball players, but... Uh, uh, you will use it for that I, I will purpose. use it for that. Either that or I'll just cook breast, you know. You could <laughs> take, the, take the legs off and either don't well, use them or cook them separately. You can, yeah, you can go buy a barbecue breast and cook that, cook two or three of them if you have people that like white meat. I prefer dark, so I could... There are places that cook turkey legs. And there are places now in North Carolina that cook them all year round. That's an interesting development. Uh, David Sisolsky has noticed down east a number of particularly African-American run places are now cooking uh, turkey uh, because uh, uh, many of their customers are concerned about their health. The Eastern North Carolina diet has... <laughs> so the, the pork, uh, moving away from the uh, pork and yeah. the possibility of that being detrimental to your health. They also does... have uh, Muslims and uh, Seventh-day Adventists uh, uh, who are, uh, have religious scruples. Who about... like barbecue, but they can't eat yeah. barbecue pork. Yeah. And do you concede that's barbecue? Well, uh, yeah, I do. Uh, it's not just barbecued turkey. I would call it turkey barbecue, but that's because they chop it and season it with an Eastern North Carolina sauce. And it, it's, uh, it's, and they do it for religious reasons. <laughs> that's fine with me. You uh, come from Tennessee. I do. And your new book uh, will cover regions other than North Carolina. Is is the barbecue you grew up with in Tennessee different from North Carolina barbecue? Well, I come from East Tennessee, and the bizarre thing about East Tennessee is there really isn't an indigenous barbecue tradition there. Caught between Memphis and Lexington. Yeah, well, well so. we, you know, we, we make good hams, but uh, barbecue, not really. Uh, there, there is now uh, a sort of indi Upper East Tennessee barbecue tradition, but it was brought in from Alabama by somebody in 1948. Well, and it, will you deal with some of these complexities in the, <laughs> yes. in the new barbecue, which is a cookbook, and I'm excited about the possibility of talking to you about it for North Carolina Book Watch. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for having me, DJ.